Hi, everybody. This is Tia Bottom with Empowering Time Markers. Today, I have the beautiful, talented Veronica, a professor at UNC at Pembroke. She is a published writer and speaker. Her latest book is Letter to My Sisters. Welcome, Veronica. Please Thank tell you me so what much. you do and a little bit about yourself. All right, I guess you captured it so well in what you said, but but as Tia mentioned, my name is, is Veronica Hardy. Uh, I am a licensed clinical social worker here in North Carolina at UNC Pembroke. I teach in our social work programs, the master's and bachelor's level programs. I am originally from the state of Pennsylvania, but now I'm here in North Carolina. And again, like, like you mentioned, I am a published author and I'm also a public speaker. Yay. Yeah. You're so beautiful. I just, oh. Thank you. so where in Pennsylvania were you? Have you ever heard of Pottstown? Actually, no. Where is that? Okay. City? I'll <laughs> say it's. I know people usually have heard of Reading, Pennsylvania or Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I'm in between. I'm in between both of those. Uh, right in the middle of the... Ugh. Yes, I would say okay. right in the middle of both of those. I'm okay. near King of Prussia, Valley Forge, a historical area. So the southeastern corner of Pennsylvania. Okay, that, I mean, that's exciting mm -hmm. and it's beautiful. Do you miss the leaves? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> the leaves, the change of season. So, but I get to go back several times a year. I have family who is still there. Okay, that's good. So tell me, what is one thing you do every day, either professional or um, uh, personal? Mm -hmm. Something I do every day is I declutter my mind. I declutter my mind. And usually that happens at the end of the day. I like to sit and, and pray and um, just reflect on what has happened throughout the day and work to remove things that shouldn't be there. <laughs> Thoughts that may have distracted me, disrupted me, pulled me off track, and then reflect on all the good things that happened throughout the day that I can build upon. Um, Given it and one God. other thing. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. And I'll just throw in one other thing that gives me peace. I, I had a friend who, who built a garden for me, two gardens, as a matter of fact, as a gift for, for a, a work related promotion. So just about every day I go out into my garden and I pick something and just reminds me of the, the beauty of God, the beauty of the world and how we're constantly taken care of. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful. I love that. Oh, Thank you. I, now I want one. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you wish you knew at the start of your business or career like with the writing and speaking or if you want your professional through teaching mm -hmm. I would say like you mentioned with the the writing I, I wish something I knew was more about how to navigate publishing and marketing a book. And I'm glad you asked that question because I was actually thinking about it last night. I was visiting different publishers' websites and thought, well, I wish I knew this, or I wish I knew there was that type of product package out there, or I wish I knew more about social media to market, to market my book. And then I thought, but it's okay because the next time around, I'm working on my next one, I can take everything that I've learned and what I wish I knew and, and start putting it into action. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. So it's sort of like that when you jump into any kind of profession, it's like a waterfall of information. Mm -hmm. And it's like, where do you start? So sometimes you just have to start and you're just learning as you go. So it'll just keep getting better and better. Also, I do have a few women in here that are publishers. So keep your eye up open for interviews coming up with them too. I so sure will. Back pocket. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so what is the hardest part of your job? Hmm. I will, I think I'll reflect on the, the teaching 
aspect of what I do. I guess the hardest part of my job, I want my students to, to be strengthened in who they are as, like I mentioned earlier, I'm a clinical social worker, which includes diagnosing, assessing, and counseling. And for those who want to transition into clinical social work, there's, there's always this feeling of, I don't want to mess up someone's life, or I don't want to misdiagnose. And I want to kind of transmit or transition this, I guess, sense of empowerment to my students to truly believe in themselves, to, to trust in their intent. Their intent for coming in was to help people in this specific type of way. So don't put a lot of energy into fear and the harm because that fear will distract you. And that's when the harm can happen. <laughs> it can block you from thinking in the right ways. So just really encouraging them to keep pouring into themselves, to keep learning, to trust, to obtain supervision. So I guess that's one of my challenges to be able to, to transmit that to them in some way and transfer my learning through my own stories to help strengthen them. Um, first of all, I just wanna commend you on doing that because that is amazing knowledge that you're giving them. Um, I find myself like, cause I have a side coaching thing. So you're okay. basically a coach um, mm -hmm. and teaching them like you have to trust in yourself, like believe in yourself. And I love that. I love that message. And yes, it is, it is hard cause you don't have control over what right. people think, but giving them the control back that they have control for themselves. I, I think that's, that's great very point. rewarding. I love that. So what's the easiest part of your job? Um, the easiest part, I guess I'll flip back to the writing piece <laughs> because when it comes to writing, it seems like it, it's um, an integration of all of me. My, my clinical training, my spirituality, my, my love and passion for writing and speaking and being able to pour all that into one place. So that's one of the parts that is so easy that I enjoy, especially when I'm just able to speak from myself. You don't have to prepare so much when you're just, you have it in you already and just allow it to pour out. Hmm. I love that. It's like everything in your life led you to who you are right now mm -hmm. and yeah. yeah oh i love so that so true I, I feel like our life is, is is several building blocks we're building we don't want to necessarily forget what has strengthened us along the way but how can i use it now to keep moving me forward and to feed into other people's lives yes i um first i just want to say thank you so much for being with me today and letting me share you with the group yeah. and the world. Um, so tell me, what would you like the ladies to know in the group? What do you have coming up or um, anything like that? Okay, um, I always like to encourage people to learn more about me. So um, again, I'm thankful to you for even allowing me to be on this, this, this platform. <laughs> um, so if they want to learn more, definitely, please feel welcome to visit my website, drveronicahardy.com. And also something I have coming up, I have on Saturday, November 7th from 12 to 2, a grief and faith virtual workshop. And that will be online. And people can generally locate it if you go to Eventbrite online and look up grief and faith virtual workshop. And it's donations only. And my co-facilitator is Shakita Spears Torres. She's also a licensed clinical social worker and life coach oh. like you. So if you put in our names in the title of it, you'll be able to see that. Um, I'll and get then the I'm link. also I'll find it and I'll put the link in too. Oh, that would be great. Thank you. And I'm also working on my next book and it's about becoming untangled, the things that are holding us bound to the past. And whenever I think of the word untangled, it means being set loose from. So being set loose from these things that are hindering us from entering into our new season, whatever it looks like for us. And my hope is for that to be published by my birthday of next year, which is March 18th. If before, that would be fantastic, but but that's my goal or my birthday gift to myself. So those are just a few things to look forward to. Awesome. I will put all the links that I have in, and um, I know that we're going to plan a little workshop with you. So um, 
Thank you so much for being with me today. I absolutely adore you. I'm so glad that I connected with you. Um, and I will have all your links in the description of the video and on in my group. So thank you so much for being with me today. Well, absolutely. It's, it's definitely an honor for me to be here. <laughs> all right. Bye. Bye-bye.